Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Logically Literate. In today's video, we're gonna take this and turn it into this. On today's video, we're gonna be installing the Pets Fang. I'll have the link down below in the description for the exact model that I got off of Thingiverse. But it uses the stock fans, and it only requires you to get four additional screws that are not stock. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it and I'll show you what tools we're gonna to be using for this install. For this install, you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver, two Allen keys out of the Allen key set that came with the Tivo Tornado when you purchased it, and four M3 by 12 screws. First, you wanna make sure you power down your 3D printer. Then after that, you wanna remove this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw from the fan housing. Then after that, you can use a Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew these four screws from the face of the extruder cover. Once all eight screws have been removed from the two fans on the extruder housing, you can then remove these two screws from the extruder back plate. And with that, this shell can now be removed from the extruder. So now we can take our pet's fang and start installing the fans. One thing you'll wanna verify before trying to install the fans is that you can screw the screws from the original side blowing fan into both of these holes. If you can't, what you can do is take a twisty tie like this, heat it up and push it through the holes and wiggle it around to open up the holes in case your printer printed the holes closed like mine did. Before trying to screw your screws in, make sure that the fan will fit over the opening here on the mouth. On mine, I had to sand this part down to get the fan to sit far enough for the holes to line up. When we pulled the screws off the original fan, two sizes came out. We're gonna to wanna to use the shorter size for this install. So now we can take the stock fan and the fang and slip it on top of the fang and start screwing the screws into the bottom two bolts. Now that we have these two screws installed, we can then slip the fang onto the back plate and follow that up with mounting the fan to the face of the fang to finish the installation. Once you have the fang in place, you can then take the original screws and screw one in the front here and then one in the side here. Again, taking the originally provided screw taken off the face of the housing, we're gonna take this screw now and instead of screwing it into the other hole on the face, we're gonna actually screw it into the side of the heat block right here. So after installing this side screw and the face side screw over here, we can now transition back to the front and install the heat sink fan to the face of the pet's fang. Now that we have the fang securely mounted to the back plate of the extruder, we can take the heat sink fan and screw it to the face of the fang. For this, I'm gonna be using four of the M3 by 12 screws that I got from this package that I ordered off of Amazon. Just like that, the Pets Fang is fully installed and ready to go. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the install and you thought it was very helpful, go ahead and leave a like down below. And if you have any questions for me, feel free to comment and I'll get to that when I can. And make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below. That way you're notified when I put out more videos just like this.
Thanks and have a nice day.